just because you have gone through loss, just because you have lost your husband, just because you have lost issues in your life, you need to rise and shake off the dust and go and fight for your land. These girls, they were very strategic. They were very strategic. They are saying to Prophet Moses when they arrive, we are here as the daughters of Zelophehad. Prophet Moses, may we make it clear that our father was not part of the core generation. They are making it known that we deserve the land because our father did not disrespect leadership. leaders. Our father died for his own sins. Our father died because maybe God wanted him to die. Therefore, we must also be allocated land. Do you know that if we operate in one accord, in unity, the nation the industries, the systems have no place to disrespect us. If we operate in one accord, they have no reason not to listen to us. These girls did not go there and they spoke all at once. They knew in their family who can be the spokesperson. They knew if one person speak, we are all going to benefit. Can this Women's Day of 2022, can we do an introspection? And you ask yourself, what kind of a woman am I? Am I a woman who is grumpy? Am I a woman who is competing? Am I a woman who is jealous? Only you can do an introspection. And when you do an introspection, whatever that you find, that is not of God, that is within you. May this day be a day where you are going to shake it off. Where you are going to leave it here. And you are going to say, I am going to support other women. I am going to support their initiative. As I support them, I become their structure. As I become their structure, tomorrow is going to be my turn. Can we uplift one another? When we uplift one another, we are going to be listened. We are going to change the status quo. The Bible says they did something that has never been done. And Prophet Moses did not have an answer for them. But he said to Eliezer, these girls have a point. Can you see now? They've caught attention because they are united. He says they've got a point. And because they have a point, I as the prophet, I don't have an answer for them. But I'm going to go to the Lord. And I'm going to seek advice from God. And when he gets to God, God says, they are right. They deserve to get the land. They deserve to get their portion. Can I talk to women? Maybe you have been sitting there and crying and thinking you are a victim. Today you are not going to be a victim. You are going to be a daughter of Zelophehad. You are going to fight for your land. You are going to fight for what belongs to you. You see, the problem is when you don't understand what land means. Land is a place of trade. Land is a place of rest. Land is a place of production. Land is a place of progress. So these girls did not decide to settle for less. These girls did not decide to shepherd the corn. If they wanted, they could have settled with any man. So that they get a portion of the land. But because they were raised well. They decided we are just going to fight through the word of the Lord. It is my prayer in this gathering that you know who you are. Once you know who you are, my father on Sunday, he said, push me a little bit. After 
after you've pushed me, I'm going to come and fetch you. Let's push the women that are ahead of us. They will come back to collect us. Then we will go up the stairs together. 